Welcome guitar channel of mine fans. I am now filming the last video in a five video series for how many guitars? This is the Comet. How many guitars? Now for the fifth time. Uh, has been around for ages, probably longer than most musical companies, uh, music instrument companies. They have been dominating the market for years and years and years. And then they kind of it got quiet about them. So you can find them in pawn shops and uh, vintage guitar stores. And Bandlab from Singapore is a company that uh, acquired a couple of other companies. They own mono gig bags, they own Tysco pedals, they own heritage guitars, and they own Harmony. So with that resource of heritage and the amazing factory, which back, back in the day belonged to Gibson, and those great luthiers, they said, let's revive Harmony in the best way possible. And that means bringing the price down with simple concepts, which doesn't apply to the Comet, by the way, Tally bridge, bolt on necks, in this case, a maple neck, the others have mahogany, humbuckers, three position switch, very simple concept, very ugly cupcake knobs, and do that really well. It's a simple instrument. It's a simple instrument, it's a simple instrument, all simple instruments, but let's do it really goodly. Then, because they own mono, so they have the direct connection to the good gig bag people, they throw in a mind-blowingly good mono gig bag. That, I looked it up, is 200 bucks. Comes in a winter tire outfit. Um, and it is as, your guitar is as protected as in a big case. I would even say better, depending on the case. Because it's got these guides here for the neck. The neck sits in here. There is no chance of anything happening to this instrument. It's extremely well done. And that gig bag alone is 200 bucks. And I would always prefer a gig bag over a case, personally. So, we're looking at the Comet. That's the one that jumps out from the line because it's different. First of all, it's a semi-hollow. Yes, it's a semi-hollow. Not F-holes, but these beautiful kind of S-holes. I love that. Luckily, they're not A-holes. Ha! Get it? Hmm. And when you do this, it could be an... Hmm. Um... So it's a semi-hollow, but the body is really tiny. It's no bigger than a normal solid body would be because usually those hollow body guitars, they, they, they get kind of big. This doesn't. But then you have the six in line headstock, which makes it weird. You have these gold four pickups. Okay, that's there isn't a lot of information on the Harmony website in terms of specs. Um, there are six points for each guitar and they're rather simple. So gold four pickups, whatever that means. In uh, the other guitars, they are all direct mounted, as you can see here. Um, in the Comet, they are in pickup rings. We do not have a tele style bridge, we have a tunomatic and a stop tail. We still have the really amazing locking tuners. These are absolutely some of the best locking tuners I've had on any guitar. Uh, here it's stamped in, it's not handwritten, but there's a serial number. This is a little bit more of a high gloss feel than the Jupiter, for example, would be. This is more like an oiled feel. This is also an oiled feel, but it feels a little bit more like the actual guitar body. So it's a little bit more of a gloss. Of course, it's a nitro lacquer finish, which is ridiculous. That's, you know, it's all high-end components. We have a bone nut. These really cool tuners, nobody knows where they're from. Nobody knows where they're from. Uh, dot inlays, side dots, of course, which I haven't mentioned on any of these, but I mean, they all have side dots and they're nicely well done. Let's look at that here, right there. The gold falls, the weird knobs. Three position switch in the back there, which I'm okay with. Very bright white binding. No binding on the fretboard, which I like. I'm not a big fan of that, but that looks really good. It's a rather thin body, which also means it's a small and it's a light guitar. Yeah, all of them have neck dive. Nobody at Harmony gives a shit about that. So if you don't give a shit, those guitars are for you. Um, the, bo the bottom is carved, and that looks like one beautiful solid piece of mahogany. There is no scarf joint here. There's also no volute. Angled headstock. I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of the pickguard because once you take it off, you have this ugly screw hole. 
I would immediately take it off if this was mine. And I might actually go for this one. I'm still, I get to keep one of them. And I have no idea which one. This is so spanky and so beautiful, but it, it doesn't do the heavier high gain stuff. It doesn't have to, but it's super spanky. And this is super round. Then the Rebel, which you can't look at the Rebel video. Again, they all have their own thing. This, I just very much enjoyed when I wrote, uh, when I recorded the track at the beginning. Always Be Yourself. It's an old song that I wrote with Matt Cash uh, years ago, and it was a pleasure to re-record it for that video. And I loved every minute of doing that. And so I think I have a special kind of connection to the Comet. We have, oh, this has, it's the only one that has push-pull, possibly for single coils. Three position switch, tone, let's go. I don't know how much this is. I couldn't find it online. It might be more expensive than these because it has a set neck. Of course it does. That doesn't have a bolt on it. And that is technically more expensive to do. So I don't know if this is more expensive. It probably is. We're going to go into the Rift Dynamis on the clean channel with a little bit of reverb from it uh, through the Torpedo Captor X back there. That nice man is holding it for us. And that has a 412 with cream bags on it. And here we go. Cleans. <laughs> Spanky in the middle. Wiry and thinner, not super fat in the back. So I actually never tried it with the single call. Let's see. Ah, ah, it might not a, a be, be a single call switch, it might be an out of phase switch for the middle. Yeah, most certainly. It has nothing to do with single calls, it goes out of phase. Let's see in the back. Yeah, it's only out of phase for the middle. I don't know. There's very little information on the website. And also, I didn't read that if it says it on the website. We're going to see with some gain later if we can get Brian Mayi sounds out of it. We're going to move on to the Fender Deluxe Reverb, which is, of course, a good reference. Middle position. Mm -hmm. 
Let's watch later with a little bit of overdrive. That's awesome. <laughs> Let's go into the Achilles Argos right there. JTM style boutique amp from Australia. You tickle it a bit and it's clean and you dig in and it gets fuzzy and wild. song and I can't play it. Modern crunch sound from the 740 right there, Drev! I love that it still has that wiry, snappy, string feel and sound. Um, it, it never gets that super round, less poly kind of thing. It always... Uh, you always maintain the connection to the string. These videos are so pointless. <laughs> Okay, that was fun. Whoa! Don't ever play it with the Rev 100P on the Purple Channel like I'm doing now. Oh, 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 
I, it's not what it's made for. And most certainly not for even more gain with the Engel Fireball 25. <laughs> Yeah, there's most certainly better guitars to do that. Good tuners! So, a little bit of reverb from the CXM and some sexy kind of a jazzy thing because, come on, it's a hollow body, we gotta try that. If I could play jazz, I would, but I can not. A little bit of overdrive from the gunshot. Here we go! Come it! That's, that's not a good way to do it. That's a weird sound. But some of you might like that. Divine tones. And now more gain.
Okay, this is where it ends up here. This isn't a guitar for fiddling in the high frets at all. This is where you where you where you're done. face and then roll back the uh, tone and then you got that tone Next, a little bit sticky. It's nitro. I like the other necks more because they were just oiled. This, this is a little bit of a sticky neck, but boy, does she sing! It's so much fun to play. Amazing sounds. And no, it's not a three-three-five. It's a, it's a harmony comet. And that's the thing that after doing these five videos, I can say with confidence: all harmony guitars are harmony guitars. They are not strats. They're not tallies. They're not Les Pauls. They're not Ibanezes. They are not ESPs with EMGs. They are harmonies with gold falls. They have a unique tone. They all have a spanky thing in some settings. Some are thicker, like the Jupiter, um, similar to the. I can't reach it. The Juno back there, the tiny one. Uh, the Rebel has a little bit of a Rebel um, uh, more brightness compared to the Jupiter. Uh, then the Silhouette has all the spankiness of typical Fender single coil guitars while still being a harmony. And this puppy here is just, she sings, she is round, she jazzes, she's got the brightness, um, she's not a metal monster, no, but wow, the Comet is a good guitar. If you're doing blues, rock, indie, uh, you know you know what you do and you know if this guitar is for you or not. Phenomenal. I love the whole package with the mono gig bags, the amazing tuners, the modern features like the locking tuners, but the vintagey kind of sensibility the quirkiness. I know Ryan from 60 Cycle Hub is a huge fan because, well, he likes quirky guitars and they f fit the bill perfectly. No, they're not bargain basement guitars, but for what you're paying, you're getting a whole bunch of tone, a whole bunch of history, a whole bunch of quality, and a package that overall makes sense. You're not going to regret getting one of these. I can pretty much guarantee it. Simple guitars with a lot of tone and workhorses, except for the neck dive, which they have. And maybe this has a little bit of a sticky neck because of the nitro, but you know, that's all nitro guitars have that. So use my links below. That helps me. Please accept the cookies. Otherwise, it does not help me. Uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and all that stuff because that helps me as well because companies look at numbers because they're stupid. Uh, it makes numbers make sense nowadays. And I want to thank Leslie for doing five videos in a row today. That was a massive session. Thank you so much. I love you, babe. And uh, uh, something about... How does this end, Leslie? Yes? Come on, you can say it. You can say it once. No. Can say it. She's not cooperative. <laughs> Animals at the end.